हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वर्टेक्स मनोज रॉय टुडेज टॉपिक इज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन रोटेशन लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव डन विद रिफ्लेक्शन विद ऑल थ्री केसेस सो टुडे वी आर डूइंग रोटेशन ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन रोटेशन द केस वन इज फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इमेज व्हेन ऑब्जेक्ट इज गिवन एंड दैट्स वी आर डूइंग टुडे इज केस वन इन केस टू दिस हाउ वी कैन डिस्क्राइब our transformation like when object and image both are given third case is about the matrix transformation in rotation that will be will be doing in uh, next videos so first of all we should know like for case 1 what is important thing in case 1 when we need to do the formation of the given object to get the image the first thing we require the center of the rotation and without center of rotation it is not possible to rotate an object to get the image second is angle of rotation that will be given in the exam center will be given in the exam angle will be given in the exam and direction of the rotation will be given in the exam it means we required three things in rotation center of rotation angle of rotation and the direction of rotation and without these three things we can not move our object to get the image center of the rotation is normally represented by or the denoted by this capital letter e and the coordinates x y can be 1 2 0 0 origin and so on we have so many angles of rotations in the exam 45 like these all angles are possible all angles are possible and we have to learn basically teachers uh, do what this they work with angle 90 degree 180 degree and 360 degree but we are also finding few questions like 45 degree 270 degree and sometimes 720 degree is also possible so i will discuss when i will start the past papers direction can be clockwise or anti clockwise i mean this when center is given is okay but the angle of rotation is uh, not possible without without the direction of the rotation it means when the 90 degree is given it will be also given with 90 degree thus we are doing clockwise rotation or anti clockwise rotation so what we are doing today in case one this how we can work with like object to get image by doing this rotation with all three points should be given in the exam center angle and direction and now we are moving to our first case case 1 that how we can do the formation of image in rotation so we are doing rotation today case 1 formation of image Uh, I have taken here like uh, one here object. This is question number one. Rotate triangle ABC. This is A, this is B, and this is C. So now triangle ABC to triangle PQR. That is your image with 90 degree clockwise about zero zero. That is origin. So what is the method actually to do the rotation? Just please uh, give attention here. This is very important part here. One thing. when i want to rotate this abc the a will get the image p b will get the image q and c will get the image r i mean this is the corresponding these are the corresponding points when we do like center is origin so i will this i will mark here this point is e this is center from the center i have to move a 90 degree clockwise like means if this i join here i have to move 90 degree clockwise this is very important so how we can do it now without using compass without using pencil and scale we are doing without that okay now what's the method for method is what when we do when we do 90 degree clockwise rotation just remember these two things what uh here i am just making this axis this is right this is left this is up and this is down this will take little time to understand the method actually so now what we are doing when we are 
right like from this center when we are right side right side just imagine when you want to move clockwise 90 degree this is 90 degree so when you are right side the object is right side it means we have to move down clockwise 90 degrees so right will become down i'm writing the keys actually this what we can say the keys are here right is down down is down will be become left left will become left will become here 90 degree clockwise up and the up will become you can see right clockwise is right so this is the key for 90 degree clockwise now i'm using these keys and i'm working here okay from point e to point a how many steps you're moving left and up left and up so i'm writing here from e to a e to a how many steps you're uh, moving like object one two three four four left and one up one up now when you write four left and one up you can check the keys where is uh, left 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 will become up so what i will write here i will write uh, four left will become four up and one up up will become right so one up will become one right so this is the way the point a is becoming point b like what i will do now here this is the working four up and one right from here here four up one two three four up and one right this is the point point p and that is your uh, we have rotated a to the point p 90 degree clockwise so when i move to the second part that is uh, e center and i am talking about point p b okay just calculate just measure for b one two two left one two three up two left three up two left and three up now what is the key for 90 degree clockwise rotation the keys are here so what i i can do i can write the left will become up two up and up will become right so three right so this is the way i can use this result of the keys here from this position two up one two up like two up and three right one two one two three right this is point p will b will become q okay now moving to c c is one two three four five five i'm writing here from e to c five left one two three four up four up so this is the way you can write uh, the result from the keys like left will become up five up and up will become right and four right so now using the keys five up four right from center one two three four five up one two three four right this is our point we can write pq this is r now just what we need we need to join now when we join these coordinates this is our result and that is here image abc is rotated to pqr by 90 degree clockwise about origin o origin i mean origin that is zero zero so that is a way and you can check it out by using by count d or like here this is 90 degree so you can check it out there is no problem but this is the way because we can do the rotation of 90 degree clockwise about origin now i'm just moving to question number two so moving to question number two the question number two is Rotate triangle ABC to triangle PQR with 90 degree anti-clockwise rotation. This is anti-clockwise about 1 and minus 1. Now, uh, in the last uh, like question, I have discussed the keys of the right angle, sorry, 90 degree clockwise. Okay. Now, I am going to write the keys for, uh, like how we can get the keys for 90 degrees 
anti clockwise 90 degrees anti clockwise so when you know when you just when you write the keys then it will be very easy to uh, do the rotation so now x is required the right this is left this is up and this is down now when this is the center when this is the center here when you are right the right object will become up see this 90 degree moving up anti-clockwise so what you will write the key that the right will become up the right will become up okay and then up will become then up will become what here 90 degree clock uh, anti-clockwise is left when left is uh, we are all having object in left hand side then 90 degree anti-clockwise will be down and down will become what you can see here down will become right so these are the keys by using these keys we can do the rotation of anti-clockwise 90 degree now first of all we have to decide what's the uh, center center we normally mark with e so center e is one and minus one you can check one and minus one is here this is the center of the rotation and uh, i told you we need three things to do the rotation center angle and direction okay now moving from this center i have to count like this point is a that will be given in the exam this a b c and we have to draw okay from this e to a e to a what we are doing actually i want to change something here if i change here because all is right and up right and up so i think so i should change the center center i'll mark okay one and this is plus one okay that will um, make our work like easy uh, and uh, like we can understand this uh, which type of uh, rotation is going in one fashion okay when i check from e to a from E to A, what you can observe? How many steps are right and down? One, two steps right and one down. So two right and one down. So when we have two right and one down, what are the results by using this key? The right is up and down is right. You can check down, here is right, okay. Two right, two right means two right is two up. Just check the keys, use the keys. And one down, one down here, one down is right. So I will write one right. Right is up and down is right. Now using, where is the object now? From here. Uh, I have to move from the center, two up and one right, two up and one right. One, two up and one right. This is the point P. So whenever we have, this is very good uh, part, that when we have two uh, like uh, points here, so we can use the sign of slash. Slash means this for this point, this coordinate has like how many points? P and as well as C. Okay, the P is image of A, we have done it. Now we are moving to next part, A with B. How many steps are there to get B from here? One, two, three, four, right? Four, right? Here from here. One, two, three, four, and one up. One up. Because here right and down, so here should is here is right and up. That's why I have changed the center here. Okay. Now, what are the results when we use the keys? The keys right is up, so four up, and up is left, one left. So by using this results, I have to move this point B here. Like what? Four up, one, two, three, four up, and one left, one left. This is the point. This is the point here. This is point Q. Check it out once again. Four up and one left. One, two, three, four, and one left. This point is Q. This point is P. Okay. I mark here with Q. Now moving to next part. Next part is C. C is one and one right and two up. So one right, two up. E with C. One right and two up. So right will become what? Right will become right is up one up and up is left to so right two left now this is the way one up two left from here one up two left this is the point one up two left this is r so when i join this these triangle uh, coordinates the results are one second here here is the coordinate 
and the third is here. So now we uh, got uh, a triangle ABC, triangle ABC mapped onto triangle PQR by rotation 90 degree anti-clockwise about 1 and 1. So this is the way, like when keys are here, like this using these keys, it will be very easy. Just you don't need to use the compass or the scale. Just without that, you can uh, remark by using the keys and get the answer. So now we are moving to the third question number three. That's how we can do 180 degree rotation. And 180 can be clockwise or anti-clockwise have the same position. So now this is question number three. Rotate this ABCD to uh, PQRS with 180 degrees. 180 degree uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise about 0, 1. Anti-clockwise or clockwise in 180 degrees, there is no matter. Like uh, it sometimes it will not be given this 180. This is automatically is fixed. Sorry, the clockwise or anti-clockwise is fixed that we don't need. Uh, clockwise, anti-clockwise, both are having the same position one with 180 degree. Okay. So now we have to write first of all the A, B, and please I cannot write C here. Please, huh? this is very important. A, B, C, D, I have decided. The coordinates are 0 and 1. This is center. 0, 1 is here. 0 and 1 is here. This is our center. Okay, now we are doing rotation. The keys, like the keys are very, like very simple in 180 degree. When you write, this is right side and this is left. This is up and this is down. So keys are what? Like I'm writing here. Keys are very easy in uh, 180 degree rotation because when you are right, when you are right side, so 180 means like here or here, like clockwise or anti-clockwise, the, the position is left. So that's why I'm just telling you clockwise or anti-clockwise, there is no problem. Now, when you are up, from up, when this point is the center, this point like center is here, when you're up, 180 is here or 180 is here. Clockwise or anti-clockwise, there is no problem. That will remain what? Up will remain right. So that's why the left is uh, right and uh, down, sorry, up, this is down. This is down, up and uh, down. Okay. So right will become left, up will become down, and down will become up, and left will become right. That is normal. Uh, the method we are doing in one rotation. Okay, now keys are ready. We are moving to our question. First of all, from this point, I have to check out how many steps for A. One, two, one, two. Two left and two up. So from point E to A, E to A, two left and two up. So what we are doing? Two left and two up. Two left here. When two left, two left will become right. Okay. So left will become right means two right. And up will become down. So two down. From this point, I will write two right, two right and two down. Two right and two down. This is a point, point P from point A. So I think so is very simple now for B part because this is only left. One, two, three, four, five left. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right, that's it. And that is point Q. Because there is no up and down, there is only left. So, we are writing down. We are moving down. Point C, 1, 2, 3 left, 1, 2, 3, 4 down. Uh, 3 left and 4 down. This is point C. So, you can check 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Two, 3 left and 4 down. Left will become right. And down will become up. So, 3 right. 4 up from this point, 3 right, 1, 2, 3, 3 right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and up. This is point R. Now moving to uh, D, 1 left, 1, 2, 2 down. So 1 right and 2 up. This is the point D, uh, Q, R and this is point S. Like you can check 1 left, 2 down. So 1 right, 2 up. I mean, you can use this uh, uh, keys. Now to join these, uh, we can have like our image that is here the first second Q with P and this is our object now so 
So now this is our image. We have uh, got the image. Is uh, this shape A B C D mapped onto uh, shape P Q R S by 180 degree uh, clock, uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation about zero one. That's the way that we got the result. So this is the way I have explained you about this how we can get. Uh, the formation of the image from the given object and the, from the given three things uh, like uh, center of rotation, angular rotation, and direction of rotation. And by using these uh, we, uh, points, we have done uh, our first case, the rotation at uh, the formation of image.